Alberto 107 helicopter has proved to be one of the world's most versatile aircraft. With minor modifications, but no change in its basic configuration, the 107 has demonstrated its operational versatility in military service as well as with industry, as you are about to see. First, the United States Marine Corps' version of the 107, the CH-46A. Called the Sea Knight by the Marines, this medium assault transport helicopter cruises at 130 knots and can carry as many as 25 combat-equipped troops. The primary mission of the Sea Knight is to transport combat troops rapidly with limited logistic support. To help it operate efficiently in forward areas, the Sea Knight is equipped with a 10,000 pound capacity cargo hook and an auxiliary power plant. The APP provides power for electrical and hydraulic systems when engines are shut down and makes the helicopter independent of outside power sources. Extensive tests on the erosive effect of sand on engines have resulted in development of foreign particle separators, standard equipment on the CH-46A. Here's an example of equipment transport operations. A swamp buggy airlifted quickly over obstacles to where it will do the most good. Tree cover is used to reduce exposure to ground fire. If need be, the helicopter transports its cargo quickly over the treetops. The rotor blades of the CH-46A can be folded or unfolded automatically in approximately 45 seconds. Here aboard an LPH class carrier, a 40 knot wind sweeps across the deck as the unfolding operation is accomplished. Not only is the main mission of the Sea Knight to transport marine assault forces into battle, it must be able to disperse these forces rapidly from aircraft carriers, day or night, in fair weather or foul. Three tons of equipment or supplies can be transported in the cabin on each flight to support these troops. When the helicopter returns to the carrier from its last mission of the day, its rotor blades can be stopped in less than a minute. The blades are folded, the aircraft is placed on the carrier's elevator for stowage on the hangar deck, out of the weather. The CH-113, another member of the 107 International Family, is on duty with the Royal Canadian Air Force. This model employs 900-gallon capacity fuel tanks, which give it a 600-mile range. Like all Boeing Vertol helicopters, the CH-113's fuselage is sealed during fabrication for emergency amphibious operation. Also, like all 107 model aircraft, the CH-113 can take off from water with one of its twin turbine engines shut down if necessary. Reconnaissance parties or frogmen can be quickly deployed and injured or downed personnel picked up. Rotor shutdown on water presents no problem for the CH-113 helicopter. Its fuel tank stubs give it excellent water stability and since its forward and aft rotors turn in opposite directions, there is no torque to cause a yawing moment as the rotors come up to take off speed. A removable watertight dam is available for installation just forward of the rear loading ramp inside the aircraft. Sea State 3, as designated by the U.S. Coast Guard. These waves are from 3 to 5 feet high, with 30 to 40 feet between crests. The helicopter is taxiing at 8 knots. Here, the exceptional water stability provided by the fuel tanks is evident. There is no rolling motion to speak of, not even in a quartering wind. Cockpit visibility is good.
The Boeing Vertol 107 at work for industry. Positioning 20 air conditioning units on the roof of this Ford Motor Company foundry in Cleveland, Ohio. The Ford Motor Company estimated that it would take approximately five weeks to do the job with conventional cranes. The New York Airways 107 cut the time to two days. The lower section of the unit is nine and one half feet high, eight and one half feet square, and weighs 5,500 pounds. It takes a steady hovering platform to position such a bulky object accurately at the end of a 150 foot nylon cable in a 25 knot wind. Now to position the upper section of the unit onto the first section up on the roof. The wind is even more of a factor because this section is 19 and one half feet high. It weighs 4,200 pounds. Lining up the bolt holes in the flanges is a ticklish job, especially since there is a tolerance of less than one half an inch and the pilot cannot see the operation. He must rely entirely on directions by radio from the roof. But he does it not once, but time after time. The twin turbine 107 makes a rooftop takeoff in the heart of Manhattan. This helicopter is certificated by the U.S. Federal Aviation Agency for passenger and cargo service over thickly populated areas. It is also certificated for flight under instrument conditions. The airliner version of the 107, in operation with New York Airways, carries 25 passengers with baggage and a crew of three. The cargo configuration has a capacity of three tons. The 107 illustrates the remarkable center of gravity range inherent in the tandem rotor helicopter. When the helicopter picks up a 5,000 pound load from a hard point located behind the center line of the aft rotor and above the rear loading ramp, the CG moves aft for more than 60 inches, but with no danger due to loss of control. Thus, under conditions where a landing cannot be made, it is possible to haul a heavy load into the cargo cabin with the winch while the helicopter is in hovering flight or to draw it out of the cabin and lower it to the ground. The tandem rotor helicopter is the only aircraft that has demonstrated this highly useful capability. Here, the 107 makes a high-speed water landing at an indicated air speed of 33 knots. The drag of the main gear in the water has no adverse effect on fuselage attitude, and there is no tendency for the nose to tuck under. During cold weather environmental testing in Canada, the 107 hovers in a spray rig near Ottawa to test its rotor blade de-icing and windshield and engine inlet ice protection systems. The ice cloud is formed by steam forced through the nozzles into the freezing air. The helicopter hovers free to simulate icing conditions in actual flight. The Swedish 107 is called the HKP-4, operational with the Royal Swedish Navy and Air Force. Its fuel tanks have a total capacity of 1,000 gallons which give it a range of 650 nautical miles. Here it perfects minesweeping techniques. The Royal Swedish Navy helicopter is demonstrating a rotor control change instigated by Boeing's Vertol division for better maneuverability on water, which enables it to stop, back up, or turn on the spot. close-up of one of the two 500-gallon fuel tanks with which the HKP-4 is equipped. The fuel jettisoning nozzle. Fuel can be jettisoned at the rate of 280 pounds per minute should it become necessary to lighten the ship for a single engine takeoff or because of survivors crowded into the cargo cabin. 
Note the red dye mixed with the fuel streaming out of each tank. Like all 107 helicopters, the Swedish HKP-4 can make a running takeoff from water, as might be required for an engine-out condition. This is a simulated rescue of a downed airman by the helicopter on the water. Note the level hover attitude of the Swedish aircraft, made possible by the previously mentioned control change. The low downwash has little or no effect on the raft. This method can also be used to pick up badly injured or unconscious personnel. Again, the low downwash of the tandem rotor helicopter is demonstrated during a simulated alternate rescue method by the Swedish HKP-4. This method is used in the event that the sea state is such that it is inadvisable to land. One of the most operationally important characteristics of the tandem rotor helicopter is its neutral directional stability at low to zero air speeds, providing independence from wind direction, as well as stability during hover. The rescue boom is electrically operated and swings outboard away from the fuselage. Now the load is swung into the cabin by the boom. The Canadian Army's version of the 107 is the CH-113A. This helicopter also has amphibious capability and is equipped with standard fuel tanks. A busy member of the Boeing Vertol 107 helicopter family is the UH-46A, operational with the U.S. Navy. In its function as a utility transport for the Navy, the UH-46A is the key element in the vertical replenishment operation. Vert Rep, as it is called, is the transfer at sea by helicopter of supplies, equipment and munitions from a new class of fast combat support ships to units of the fleet. Helicopters like the Navy's UH-46A are able to replenish units of the fleet while the units are underway, maneuvering at high speeds, conceivably even while in contact with the enemy. It isn't necessary for this guided missile destroyer to reduce speed to take on supplies. Missiles are transferred from the ammunition ship to the guided missile ships by means of an automated loading system. From the hold of the ammo ship to the aft helicopter pickup platform and then to the receiving ship. In this case, a guided missile frigate off the port bow. As mentioned a moment ago, the tandem rotor helicopter need not approach or hover into the wind. Note how the helicopter is approaching the receiving ship on the beam because of the aft missile launcher which interferes with a stern approach. The helicopter is actually flying sideways as well as forward to compensate for the speed of the ship. This guided missile frigate is coming alongside the storer's ship for replenishment by the Highline method of transfer. Here, a load is being transferred by the traditional Highline method. Ships are vulnerable to enemy action because they are unable to maneuver during the operation. Also, the combat readiness of the task force is temporarily impaired. UH-46A's speed the replenishment operation. Vert Rep enables the fleet to maintain a greater degree of combat readiness 
while being replenished at sea. Ships do not have to leave their position in the formation. Pilots and hookup men develop a high degree of proficiency in hooking up and discharging loads in tight quarters. Back and forth across the intervening water, the UH-46A shuttle vital cargo during the vert rep operation. But vert rep is not the only mission which the UH-46A is capable of performing. UH-46A type helicopters are currently in operation on such missions as anti-submarine warfare, mine sweeping, air to ground and air to sea towing, rescue and mercy flights. The list goes on. Time out to refuel and for a hot meal before completing the job. With the sun comes another day, a busy one for the UH-46As and their crews. More ships to be replenished by air. This seagoing member of the 107 family has demonstrated conclusively that it can be instrumental in helping to keep a task force in fighting trim, a task force that comes to depend on this truly operational helicopter, a product of the Vertol division of the Boeing Company. Yeah.